Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday, August 15th. Sorry, Sunday, September 15th, 2019, ending Friday the 20th, 2019. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. A little volatility this week, but still haven't done anything real. Basically ended up right where we've been for a while now. Uh, looking at the daily charts, the euro dollar is, as usual, the inverse of that. Nothing there. The pound dollar did pop up, came near the static trend line. Uh, the Aussie dollar uh, was very flat this week. It has popped off the lows prior to that. Euro yen um, moved up a bit. The pound yen uh, also up near a static trend line. The pound Swiss tried to break, tried to break, trying to break a static trend line. Sorry, New Zealand dollar pair rolled over a bit in terms of the intraweek action. High to low on the euro dollar was only 160 pips, and most of that was on Thursday. The rest of the week was really narrow, really flat. We didn't really trade that. Uh, the pound dollar high to low for the week is 250 pips, but most of that's on Monday and Friday. If you just look at Tuesday through Thursday, it was basically in a 70 pip range. So it wasn't that exciting overall, but we did have a couple days of carryover winners. And uh, so, you know, nothing to complain about when the market's not moving. If you're making money, uh, you should just be happy about it. Let's take a look at the economic data that's due out uh, ahead this week. Um, we've got the uh, manufacturing sales number, uh, New Zealand Sunday, bank lending current account and final GDP out of Japan, home loans out of Australia, uh, Swiss unemployment rate, German trade balance. Uh, we've got the Centex investor confidence number out of Europe, GDP, manufacturing production, construction output, goods trade balance, and index of services along with industrial production out of the UK Monday uh, at one, this is actually at Pacific time, so it's 4.30 a.m. Eastern time uh, going into Monday. Uh, got consumer credit here in the U.S. at 3 in the afternoon, so really no data in the U.S. to start the week. MT Money Stock in Japan Monday night. NAB Business Confidence out of Australia. China's CPI, PPI. French private payrolls number. Uh, preliminary machine tool orders out of Japan. Going into Tuesday, French industrial production and Italian industrial production. And then the unemployment rate out of the U.K. at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. NFIB Small Business Index here in the U.S. Uh, housing starts out of Canada along with their building permits. Jolts job openings here in the U.S. at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Visitor arrivals that night out of New Zealand. Uh, going into Wednesday, China's new loans and money supply. Canada's capacity utilization rate. PPI out of the U.S. Final wholesale inventories. Crude oil inventories here in the U.S. Ten-year bond auction here in the U.S. Uh, going to that night, New Zealand's FPI, then the UK's RICS house price balance, Japan's core machinery orders and PPI, Australia's MI inflation expectations, Japan's tertiary industry activity, German final CPI, Swiss PPI, French final CPI. Now we're into Thursday, China's foreign direct investment, Italian quarterly unemployment rate, industrial production out of Europe. Uh, man, uh, the, basically, the ECB rate announcement at 4:45. I'm sorry, 7:45 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, and then their press conference. Canada's got the NHPI number, then the U.S. CPI. That's one of our big three each month, so we'll be half size ahead of that at 8:30 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. That comes out with the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers. UK's CB leading index, Natty Gas, 30-year bond auction, federal budget balance. Business New Zealand or NZ New Zealand's manufacturing index. Uh, China's on bank holiday. Uh, going into Friday, revised industrial production out of Japan. German WPI Europe has their trade balance number. Yet Euro Group meetings, retail sales here in the U.S. and import export prices on Friday, followed by preliminary University of Michigan sentiment and business inventories. So there's some data out this week. The CPI is the big one from what we usually look at. And, of course, the rate announcement out of Europe. We'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. Oh, and obviously, we're all watching for Brexit. Uh, if you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.